Hi, I'm Angeline Tipton with Design Time and I want to show you a little bit about leaf manipulation and how it can elevate your designs. I'm going to start off really simple with an aspidestra leaf that I have just simply taken and cut one on either side of the main vein. And that creates this airy leaf, making your aspidestra leaf appear larger than it is and giving space to the arrangement as well. So that creates a, a really good void within your arrangement and brings your eye in. Just a very quick and easy way to do that. Another thing that you can do with the aspidestra leaves is you can make one of the aspidestra roses like this. It can be used in bridal work as well as in your arrangements. It's a great conversation piece to pop one or two of these down into an arrangement. So for that, what you would do on your aspidestra leaf, you would trim away some of this heavy vein across the back. You'll fold your leaf in half. Fold this on a 90 degree so you have this leaf coming out like this and you're going to roll it a couple of times to give you a good base and then each time you turn your leaf to start making the bud of the rose. Now if you have small aspidestra leaves like we have today, you can take another aspidestra leaf, fold it in half and I typically like to use a piece or two of U glue. I cut the little dashes in half, insert the next leaf in place, and then I can continue rolling my leaves together to make a larger rose. So that's another really quick, easy way to make a rose out of the aspidestra leaf. And it can make it larger than what you have. And then of course you can finish it off at the base with stem tape or bullion wire or whatever you need to use to secure it, depending on what you're doing. Cut it off and add it into the arrangement as well. In this piece, for a flower girl. I have braided five pieces of the lily grass together, which is another fun way to make a decorative handle. You can also use one of these pieces to add um, dimension into your floral arrangement. So I'll demonstrate how to do that very quickly. I have bound together five pieces of lily grass. You want to always use an odd number and you'll start with three pieces on one side and three on the other and then you just begin the braid over under over and continue this through the entire length of the lily grass it doesn't take a whole long time and it's a really great way to add value to your arrangements And then when you get down to the end of the braid, you can again tie it off with either the bullion or a little bit of the stem tape. And then when I got ready to attach it to the orb, the moss covered orb, I um, used a couple of greening pins to secure that into the foam there, making the handle nice and secure. So I hope you've enjoyed these tricks that I've showed you. Thanks for joining today's design time. And if you've enjoyed today's video, please remember to click the subscribe button and we hope to see you soon.